we are going to introduce how to do differential relay with our test. First, let's look at the current terminals. As we know, our test has six currents. Differential relay can be done only in three currents, but it requires the operator be familiar with the protective device and know how to connect wires. Six current is much more easier. Now click the sister setting to choose six current and six voltage. Then click the differential key to differential interface. Next, we choose the protective type according to protective device. Our protective device is transformer, so we choose transformer and choose six current mode. Let's look at the connection. One group is connected to the high voltage side. The other group is connected to the middle voltage side. We are going to do the test from high voltage side to middle voltage side. Then we need to set all these parameters according to your protective device. Our connection is from primary voltage side to second voltage side, so we choose prior to second. The next, the break equation. All this parameter can be found out in the operation menu. If you are not familiar with your protective device. Next, we need to calculate the balance coefficient. Choose the balance method. Calculate the first two are the calculation to the high voltage side. Different factory has different test mode. Sometimes the protective device has his own balance coefficient. We only need to input the value directly. Now we input the high voltage side is 1.0517. The middle voltage side is 2.1718. The second page is the test atom. The third page is the test control set the fault time and uh, interval time. We input fault time is 0 0.2, interval time is 0 0.5. The third page is the curve coefficient. The fourth page is the coefficient slope after the test. The fifth page is the break curve. The sixth page is the test results. The last page is the wiring interface. After we set the parameter in page one, if the operator is very familiar with the protective device, we can set the curve firstly. Curve firstly. If you are not, start the test first. If we don't set the curve, the test curve has no relationship with the setting curve.
we can see the test point does not in this curve the device set before. Then we can look up the test result to see the exact va value of the current and the time. Then we can see the curl exactly. We input the exact value as we know. Start the test. Now we can see the test item is on the curve. It means the relay is reliable. After the test is finished, we can calculate the slope by two points or several points. Now we choose the third point and the fifth point and input the value of the point 3 and point 5. As same as we can see, the rate is 0 0.5, as same as the actual slope. Then we choose another two points, 11th and 13th. We can see the test result is as same as actual slope. And we can also choose one-way mode to test First, we clean all the parameters and uh, before we set, then set other parameters as you need, then start the test. It may spend a little longer time than we test before. We also can choose fixed point test. Choose the special port you need to test and input the related value. Then start the test. The test result can be saved by click the save key and click the report to see the test result.
Our test also can do this test with three currents. We need to change the connection width. It is more complicated than six currents to do this method. To do this test, the exact connection way can be learned from the wiring interface. Now we are not going to introduce it in detail. That's all. Thank you.